Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob Key T and my apologies right off the top for an extended hiatus, <laughs> a never ending <laughs> uh, interval of time between transmissions. I'm going to try to rectify that in the future, uh, endeavor to do more frequent Bob Key TV posts. Uh, I have had a very busy summer, uh, but it's time for the Vuelta. And I'm going to attempt to do recaps every single day. <laughs> so <laughs> wish me luck and thank you so very much for your patience. Uh, being on the road, following the bike races, it's pretty fatiguing. And uh, I'm going to try my best, not just uh, through the Volta, but uh, maybe include some broom wagons during the Volta. Uh, I would like to get into the transfer season, and we will be mentioning that during the Vuelta broadcasts quite frequently of who's riding for what teams next year. Incredible amount of activity. Been a very busy transfer season that begins every year, the 1st of August, where you can officially announce who is racing where. And uh, it's been very intriguing so far. For Look for that, a separate show um, uh, on Bobkey TV in the near future. But team time trial, stage number one, Vuelta a España in the books. BMC dominating, absolutely flying and rolling. Dennis putting in a spectacular effort for his teammates. He came across the finish line first to lead the Vuelta for stage number two and get the leader's jersey after the team time trial. Great ride by Rowan Dennis. Maybe the best time trialist in the world currently. Uh, he wins almost every time trial that he enters. Uh, very rarely loses. Incredible power. And BMC, maybe the best team time trial squad on the planet. They are maybe the most consistent winners. Um, there is now in the World Championships for trade teams uh, a team time trial World Championship. And since its inception in 2012, there's only been two teams to win that. And that's been Quick Step and BMC. And uh, both of those teams were at the front <laughs> of the team time trial, also in the Vuelta. Quick step, a good ride. Team Sky for Chris Froome in fourth. Uh, solid ride by Sky. They won in last year's uh, opening team time trial for the Vuelta, give, giving Peter Kenna the uh, leader's jersey last year. But Chris Froome and his teammates having a very good ride. Um, not as spectacular as last year but very solid. And this was only 3.7 kilometers. So pretty short team time trial to start the Vuelta. And I think that the, the Vuelta organizers realized that a 20 plus kilometer time trial, you're going to see some huge time gaps. And there was last year between Sky and the last team over two minutes. So some riders already way out of contention um, after the team time trial in last year's Vuelta, a little bit tighter in this year's Vuelta, but some significant time losses for some of our pre-race favorites, including Alberto Contador from the Trek squad, who lost 26 seconds to Froome. Uh, more than that, 35 seconds, I think it was, to BMC. But um, riding well uh, were Esteban Chavez and the Yates twins, Simon and Adam Yates from Orica, just eight seconds slower than Froome squad. Rafael Micah in the Bora squad, solid. So Micah still right up there near the top of the leaderboard. 12 seconds behind Froome. Nibali. Nibali and Bahrain. Not as bad as he could have gone, but 22 seconds behind Chris Froome's team. And Fabio Aru. Astana. Not a great team time trial by Astana. 32 seconds down on Froome Dog already. Pretty sure if you're Fabio Aru, you do not want to be 32 seconds behind Froome at any point during any stage race, uh, especially not the Vuelta, uh, if you hope to win. Um, some of the disappointments, Cannondale, 14th, no, oh, excuse me, 17th. Cannondale used to dominate the team time trial, but uh, a very disappointing ride for Cannondale. AG2R, Roman Bardet is doing the Vuelta. Uh, even slower than Cannondale in 18th. Some of the better teams, Sunweb, the team of Warren Barguil and Wilco Kelderman, uh, smoking time in third place, third quickest, just behind the Quick Step squad on the same second as Quick Step. So Warren Barguil, if he wants to contend for the GC, 
he's off to an exceptional start right in there with the favorites even a little bit faster, three seconds faster than this than Chris Froome at this point in the Vuelta a España. Tomorrow, a day for the sprinters. Um, those are some of your pre-race favorites and where they stand so far. Shouldn't be a big change tomorrow. Pancake flat, no mountain points whatsoever, but there can be crosswinds in that part of France. None are predicted for tomorrow, but you never know. Um, and uh, all the action. Uh, will be brought to you on the Olympic Channel, NBC Sports Gold. If you uh, subscribe to that, I think you can see uh, a lot of programming you might miss otherwise. So uh, look for my day job <laughs> uh, with Paul Sheeran covering the Vuelta a España, and look for Bob Key TV daily recaps of each and every Vuelta stage. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Please continue to subscribe. Please keep the comments coming. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can buy some merchandise if you'd like to. And all of those details are on the screen. Just click on the icons and go straight in. Thanks a lot, everybody. Till tomorrow.